Hello, good morning mga heartbeat. It's now day 21. Welcome back to another empowering episode of our journey together. So today, we're diving into a topic that touches many of us. Controlling financial stress. Let's embark in a journey towards financial well-being and peace of mind. Yeah, of course, as we all know, money matters can sometimes create a storm within. But remember, Just like a heartbeat steady rhythm, finding balance and control in our financial lives is possible. In this vlog, we're diving into strategies and insight that will help us navigate the water of financial stress with confidence. Yan, alam ko sa mga marami viewers natin dyan, maliban na lang dun sa mga onboard dyan, medyo hindi pa kayo nagiging financial stress kasi malaki la, mataas taas yung dollars ngayon. Pero sa mga kaibigan ko nandito sa lupa, we're currently in a struggle of challenge of this tinatawag nilang financial stress. So here's what are some tips that I can give. No? Um, first tip is about practical for budgeting and managing expenses. Budgeting is a powerful tool that puts you in control of your finances. By tracking your income and expenses, you gain a clear picture of where your money is going. Kailangan naka-detail yan para alam mo kung saan yun. Okay? Creating a budget helps you allocate funds for essentials, prioritizing spending, and make informed financial decisions. All right. So for you to be able to know ano yung mga extra expenses mo na pwede mo maspend, you need to keep track of your uh, yung mga regular expenses mo. So paano mo keep track yon? Is uh, making sure you have the list, no? Ganon. Number two, nurturing a healthy relationship with money and self worth. Okay, this is very important because the way you perceive money can deeply in- impact your sense of self-worth. It's important to separate your value as a person from your financial status. Yes, kasi iba kasi pag sinabi natin uh, medyo mababa yung sahod, si tingin nila medyo mababa din yung tingin nila sa sarili. No, it's just different, entirely different things. No? Building a healthy relationship with money involves recognizing that It's a tool for achieving your goals and dream, not a measure of your worth. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Good morning, sir. Oh, napahinto tayo kasi bumalik ako sa condo. Hindi ako nagkapag aftercare ng aking exercise kasi umulan. So, dito ako nag post jogging exercise. Okay, tip number three. Exploring the importance of saving and future plannings. No? Saving act is a safety net and stepping stone towards financial security. Creating an emergency fund provides peace of mind in times of unexpected expenses. Additionally, future planning such as retirement and investment strategies ensures you're prepared for the long term. One example of this is insurance policies, uh, having investment in the banks, probably business, but business is very risky. You need to be very good and very you know knowledgeable when it comes to running your business anyways you just need to be prepared in times of crisis but always remember we cannot predict in the future so if you have some extra save some invest some so that when in times of need meron kang makukuha okay remember each of these exploration points contributes to your financial well-being puzzle they're not just about managing money They're about fostering a mindset that empowers you to make conscious and fulfilling financial choices. Thank you and see you tomorrow.